All right, in today's lesson, we were investigating congruent triangles. So these notes should summarize what we did today. So if you're given information like this, you're gonna, I use three different colored markers. Um, if you can, if you, I hope you have three different colors, otherwise you can do the marks which I'm about to put on my triangles. So um, AB is congruent to DE. I'm going to highlight those the same color. AB congruent to DE. <clears throat> angle A is congruent to angle D. So that's this angle here congruent to angle D. And angle B is congruent to angle E. That's this angle here and this angle here. Now if you don't have colored markers, you can simply put a mark like this and like this, which means they're congruent. This arc here is congruent to this arc here. And to make the red one look different from the blue one, I could put an arc with a mark on it. So it looks different. Now, since, forget about the order of the, this information. Looking at the picture, you can see that the angles are between the side, or um, on either side of the side. So this would be angle, side, angle, congruent. Okay, because the angles that are congruent, um, the side is in the middle. Now let's look at the other example. Um, we've got um, we've got angle I is congruent to angle L. Okay, we've got um, angle G is congruent to angle J. And we've got side GH is congruent to side JK. Now, notice the angles are not on either side of the side. So once again, if you don't have your colored markers, you can mark it like this to indicate that things are different. And so since the yellow side is not in between the two angles, you would call this angle, angle, side congruent. Okay? Now, um, there's a, a two other ones and then um, a special case that we're going to talk about in just a second. So let's mark the pictures first and then we decide what, what the name would be. MN is congruent to PQ. Okay. MO is congruent to PR, and angle M is congruent to angle P. Okay, now this looks a little different than the others. Uh, so this side's congruent to that one, this one's congruent to that one, and this is congruent to this. So here, we see two sides that are congruent with an angle in the middle. So this is called side, angle, side. Okay? And then the last one, let's mark it the way it is. This one seems to be the most obvious. ST is congruent to VW. TU is congruent to WX. And SU is congruent to VX. So if you don't have the colored markers, once again, you could put a single mark, double mark, triple mark. And if three sides on a triangle are congruent to three sides on another triangle, we call that side, side, side congruent. It should be pretty obvious that if three sides are the same as three sides on another one, that the triangles would be the same. And the last case, which was not mentioned in today's Desmos activity, but important to mention, um, and it will be useful later on. Okay, so if angles B and T are right angles, then you could put a little square there. Um, if BI is congruent to RT, so this side is congruent to this one. And 
Uh, you will learn that these are called legs later on. This is important. And then, uh, let's see what's left. Yellow. If GI is congruent to RU, GI is congruent to RU. This, if it's across from a right angle, this has a special name and it's called a hypotenuse. Okay? And so if you have this kind of a situation, then it would be congruent by hypotenuse leg. Okay? Or HL. This example was the one that was not in the Desmos activity, but all of these other examples were. Okay, um, please copy this carefully. If you don't have colored markers, at least it's super important to put the marks that I've put here. Uh, and have fun.